Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Penny White and today I think we're going to talk about habitual thinking. By that I mean those thoughts that get you in a loop that you can't get out of. However hard you try, you just keep going back and back and back and then you're kicking yourself about why am I back here again, etc, etc. And these thoughts tend to bring emotion with them. So you can be angry with somebody, angry with yourself. They bring upset. So um, first thing, have a look at my introduction to EFT little video. It's there somewhere. And it, that will show you the points, give you an idea of what we're doing. Um, make sure you've got a glass of water and let's go. I'm not quite sure, I don't think we can measure this or you can measure the emotion that comes with the thoughts that you're having or the emotion towards yourself about the thoughts that you're having that you seem unable to stop it. But actually we're not going to worry about that at the minute. So side of your hand, even though I have these thoughts and they are obsessive and habitual and they're on a loop and I can't see to stop them. I love and accept myself anyway. At least I'm trying to. I open up to the possibility that these thoughts have become familiar and in their familiarity they're comfortable. I let them go. Even though I've got my caught up, myself caught up in this way of thinking and I don't like it. It's not me. It's, I want my life back. I choose to love and accept myself anyway. I am okay. Even though I have these thoughts, I don't like them, I'm beating myself up or somebody else, I'm upset, makes me angry, whatever it does, I accept where I am right now and I choose to love and accept myself anyway. I open up to the possibility that this is quite normal. On a loop, habitual thinking. I don't like it. And whatever I do, I can't seem to get out of it. I suddenly find myself back there. And it just goes on and on and on. Maybe it was something that upset me. Maybe I'm upset with somebody. Whatever it might be, I relax and breathe and I bring in other perspectives. Other perspectives. I can talk to somebody who can help me do that. I am safe and I am loved. These thoughts on a loop, obsessive thinking, habitual thinking, all this upset, I relax and breathe and I remind myself that I'm human, I'm not a robot, I'm just a person and I'm doing my best, but my best doesn't feel good enough. I am challenging myself around these thoughts. That is good. That's something I've set myself up to do. These thoughts are familiar. And in that familiarity, they are comfortable. But they're not really comfortable. They don't make me feel good. And one comes along, and then another, and they get worse and worse and worse. I accept it and I accept myself. I accept where I am and I choose to relax and breathe and accept that I am human and every human being has thoughts like this. My job is to challenge them. They're negative thinking that I don't like and I don't like it in me. So I let it go. I breathe. I remind myself I'm taking something personally here. 
And maybe it's not meant to be personal. I accept where I am. These loopy thoughts, obsessive thinking, habitual thinking, familiar, negative, and I'm okay. What I focus on is what I get. So I choose to focus on what I want as opposed to what I don't want. All this negative thinking and the upset that goes with it. Okay, deep breath now. Have some water. And have a think about this habitual thinking and the emotion attached to it and see where you are. If you feel that you need to do that video again, then do it and do it as many times as you need to. And good luck and have fun. Do go and talk to somebody who can bring in other perspectives for you. Emotion always overrules logic. So your logical thinking is not going to be making much sense when you're emotional, right? So yeah, try get some new perspectives. Okay, bye-bye.